Dear friends, you are on the Alexei Goncharov channel. I'm from Russia. Here we will do reviews about the car and moto technology of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, Russian Federation, and other countries. Enjoy your viewing. Our first issue, our motorcycles. Release number one, IMZ, it, 103, 10, Uro. The journal is registered with the Federal Service for Supervision of Communications, Information Technologies and Massachusetts Communications. The Certificate of Registration of Pino F.S. 77-792-8702-10-2020 year is issued every two weeks. Founder Publisher Editorial Office of Modimio NLS Address of the Founder Publisher Editorial Office, Russia 156001, Kostroma, Kostromskaya Street. 99, room 9, telephone number 8-800-505-4383. Support at Modimio Ru. Dawiu Wu Modimio Ru. Editor-in-Chief, Brinchak. Product Manager, Clement Yeva. Development Director, Shukov. Authors, Alexander Vorontsov, columnist of the magazine, Moto, co-author of the Encyclopedia of Motorcycles, and author of the first Russian book on the history of motorcycles, Motorcycles. Alexander Bulanev, Director of the Erbit State Museum of Motorcycles, Master of Sports of the USR in Motorsport, Champion of Russia, Record Holder of the Guinness Book of Records. Design, Leo Ilya Baranov. Illustrator, Anton Morentsev. Photo, Erbit State Motorcycle Museum Vyacheslav Verkaturtsev. Distribution, Burda Distribution Services and else. Telephone number. 7-495-797-4500. Recommended retail price, 399 Russian rubles. The editorial board reserves the right to change the sequence of issues and their content. Printed in the printing house, Jest, Kostroma address, 156,010, Kostroma, Samokovsky Street. 10. Order no. 49.14.20. Circulation, 19725 copies. Copyright 2018 Modimio NL State of Signing to the Press, December 08, 2020. Dear readers, For your convenience, we recommend that you purchase issues in the same kiosk and inform the seller in advance of your desire to purchase the next issue of the collection. Recommended age 12. Pages 6 to 7. Model history, from point A to point B. Pages 10 to 11. Outside and inside. Pages 12 to 13. Upgrades and modifications. The IMC-8.103-10 motorcycle was born as an alternative to the brand new M-73 model, which was never launched in the series in the 80s of the last century. It was destined to become a modification of the Euro, which was produced in unimaginable 100,000 copies in our time, and the basis for a new generation of urban motorcycles. Its release marked another and very difficult stage in the factory stories. Technical Information Characteristics Heavy motorcycle with a side trailer, side car. Equipped with a two-cylinder, four-stroke, air-cooled opposed engine mounted in a tubular duplex steel frame. The drive to the rear wheel is by a drive shaft. It was produced by the Urbit Motorcycle Factory in 1986-1994. Draw weight, kilogram, 315, payload, kilogram, 255, length, millimeters, 2490, width, millimeters, 1700, height, millimeters, 1100. Base, millimeters, 1460. Track gauge, millimeters, 1160. Ground clearance, millimeters, 125. Maximum speed, kilometers per hour, 105. Control fuel consumption, liters per 100 kilometers, 7.8. Engine two-cylinder opposed, four-stroke, air-cooled. Cylinder diameter and stroke, millimeters, 78 on 68. Working volume, cubic centimeters, 649. Compression ratio, 7.0. Gas distribution mechanism, OHV. Maximum power, 8 kilowatt, 36, 27, at 5600, 5800 RPM. Maximum torque, NM44.1 at 3200 RPM. Clutch to this, try transmission, 4 speed, with reverse gear, 1, 3.6, 2, 2.28, 3, 1.7, 4, 1.3, reverse, 4.27, transmission to the rear wheel, drive shaft. Frame tubular welded, duplex. 
front suspension, telescopic fork, with hydromortisation, rear suspension, pendulum with two spring hydraulic shock absorbers, brake system, mechanical, separate, brakes, drum brakes, wheels spoked, tire size, 3.75, 19, price in 1987, 1862 Russian rubles. 5 Facts 1. The model AMC-8.103, 10 Oral, was born on the ruins of the unfulfilled project AMC-8.102, M-73. In fact, it was an attempt to introduce advanced technical solutions of the M-73 without significant modernization of production. Alas, the plant, which brought the state a tangible profit, did not receive the necessary investment. 2. From the previous model AMZ-67-36, the AMZ-8.103-10 motorcycle was distinguished by a gearbox with reverse gear, light devices made in accordance with the safety requirements, a parking brake and a side car wheel brake, modern control devices, a new air filter and many other changes. 3. In the second half of the ATS, the Urbit motorcycle factory reached the level of production of card motorcycles per year. The most productive year in the history of the plant was 1992, 130,986 motorcycles. But then the level of production began to fall sharply. 4. The AMC 8.103-10 model became the basis for a whole family of Urbit motorcycles, a modification with a front lever fork AMC-8.103-40, a variant with a wheel drive AMC-8.103-50, a motorcycle for patrol service IMZ-8.903, a cross-country motorcycle IMZ-8.201. Yes, and single motorcycles, the production of which the plant mastered in the early 90s, technically did not differ much from the IMZ-8.103-10. 5. In Soviet times, the Urbit motorcycle factory supplied its products to 64 countries around the world. The first export deliveries began in 1953. Now the foreign market absorbs the lion's share of Ural motorcycles, and among the main buyers are the United States, Western Europe, and Japan. Trump Chance Despite the fact that heavy motorcycles with sidecars were produced in the USA in considerable quantities, in 1970, factories in Urbit and Kiev produced 61061 Ural motorcycles and 47940 DR motorcycles, the demand for them greatly exceeded the supply. Therefore, in the depths of the State Planning Committee an idea was born, which received the unofficial name Mototoliadi. The extremely successful VAS project inspired Soviet officials to repeat it in a motorcycle format. There was an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, dramatically increase the production of consumer goods, closing the population's need for heavy motorcycles, and get a constant inflow of currency due to exports abroad. To solve this problem, there were three ways to build a new plant from scratch on their own, to attract a foreign partner for this purpose, or to completely reconstruct one of the existing production facilities. The first option seemed unrealistic, although in the main design organization for motorcycles, located in Serpuk, at the Nymatopram Institute, since 1970, work was underway on a promising motorcycle VNI-8.131 with an inline two-cylinder 650cc engine with a capacity of 60. But it turned out that the launch of such a dynamic machine entails the need to create a number of higher level components, tires, brakes, etc. But such a feat of our industry was beyond our strength, with great difficulty, the production of even tiny series of special escort motorcycles to accompany the highest officials of the state, and the Massachusetts production of such components resulted in an almost insoluble problem. Then the management of Minevtoprom decided to follow the proven path, trodden during the construction of the Volga automobile plant, to enlist the support of a Western partner who will help with licenses for the necessary components, and with the purchase of equipment. At first, there were negotiations with the German company BMW, and it seemed that a common language was found. The authoritative West German magazine Stern even wrote in 1973 up to card per year. In the development of this resolution, a technical specification was issued that defined the main requirements of the new car, a two-cylinder four-stroke 750cc engine with a capacity of at least 45A, fuel consumption of no more than 8.5 liters per 100 km. At the same time, the motorcycle units had to painlessly digest the fuels and oils produced by our petrochemicals. But the most deadly point of the technical task was the requirement to maintain unification with existing models by at least 75%. In 
In fact, this left the factory designers with only two options, either to engage in another modernization of the machine, which goes back to the 30s of the Axe Century or try to ignore this point, which negates all opportunities to rise to the world level. To the credit of the designers, it must be said that they fearlessly chose the second path. The project, called M-73, IMZ-8.102 according to the new designation system, combined with the former URLs, for the most part only layout principles. The two-cylinder opposed engine received a one-piece crankshaft, aluminum alloy cylinders with cast iron sleeves, a camshaft drive with a two-row bushing chain, K-66. Carburetors with a cylindrical choke. Torque was transmitted to the rear wheel viaduct a single disc dry clutch and a five-speed gearbox with reverse gear. The electrical equipment included an electric starter, an electronic tachymeter, and an alarm system. The wiring received plug connectors. The power unit was mounted in a duplex frame through four silent blocks. The wheels were equipped with cast aluminum drums, the rear wheel brakes and the sidecars had hydraulic drive. The new look of the motorcycle was also matched by a modern shaped sidecar. The first prototypes of the M-73 motorcycle were assembled by January 1978. They successfully passed a full cycle of tests, including comparison with foreign analogs BMW R-5 and Moto Guzzi B, and were recommended for production. The plant began to prepare for the development of a new model, purchase equipment and clear the necessary territory for expansion, for which the village of Pokrutoga, which was adjacent to it, was even demolished. But soon the shocked employees of the plant learned that the new five-year plan, 1980-1985, required for the modernization of 4.8 million rubles were not allocated. Another chance to get a modern Soviet motorcycle was missed. On the path of compromise having received the bleak news about the lack of funding, the factory designers already in 1979 began a new project M-68, aka M's minus 8.1 us. This was an attempt to modernize the serial, Ural, with the help of developments from the M-73 project. The engine remained the same, 650cc, only the design of the timing drive was changed, which received rotating pushers. The transmission remained 4-speed, but a reverse gear was added. From the M-73 project, wheels with aluminum drums and short spokes, a new stroller, a steering wheel with switches, and a saddle cushion were also taken. The side of car wheel brake and the parking brake have been added to the brake system. Lighting equipment and other components are brought into compliance with the industry standard, basic requirements for active and passive safety, which has entered into force. The first sample out will be differed little from the standard Urals, only the gas tank of the design of the Kiev motor plant and the stroller with a stamp body, boat or, as it was also called, soapbox, attracted attention. But then the designers tried to give the model an appearance in the style of the M-73. Alas, this version did not go into production. But the requirements of the safety standard had to be met. And in 1984, a small series, 365 models, of the IMC 8.103, 20 transition model was released with a parking brake and a steering wheel with knee remotes. A more extensive modernization was waiting for the motorcycle in the following year, 1985, when the IMC-8.103, 30 model was put on the assembly line. The engine received an exhaust system with a single silencer installed on the right, between the motorcycle and the sidecar. The modified frame design allowed the rear suspension shock absorbers to be installed with a slight tilt, which increased their efficiency. The stroller finally got the wheel brake. The motorcycle has got a new light technology, a headlight with a unified element with a diffuser of the European beam type and a large rear light, a dashboard with a new speedometer, with meters for total and daily mileage. Finally, in 1986, the plant switched to the production of the hero of our release, the motorcycle IMZ Minus, Hero. The main innovation was the gearbox with reverse gear, this unit significantly increased the usability of a fairly heavy machine. Moreover, the designers managed to preserve the overall and connecting dimensions of the unit, so that the new gearbox could be easily put on motorcycles of previous years of production. On the first copies, a two-way lever was used to turn on the reverse gear with the foot, but a shaft of breakdowns fell due to the fact that, contrary to the instructions, the drivers tried to turn on the reverse gear immediately from the first. Therefore, soon the factory switched to a manual lever for switching on the rear gear. The new air filter has a plastic housing and a resonator that reduces intake noise. <laughs>